one thing about trying to document your life through a video camera and come up with good t- content for people is it takes time and effort. Um, and a lot of it is you can't, it's hard to live in the moment when you're documenting yourself. As much value as it might bring and as creative as it requires you to be, um, there are some downsides. So it's, uh, it's a lot of work, but uh, I'm back at it. Going to get started today. A lot of stuff going on today. A lot of stuff going on this week. A couple of big surprises. So uh, we'll see how the week goes. And hopefully bring some value to the people that watch this. You know, as some of you guys know, I'm in the process of trying to take the company from $4 million a year to $10 million a year by 2020. And so that's going to require a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of growth, a lot of structure, a lot of foundation. So that's the process. In that process, I'm going to attempt to keep a great culture with my employees and the people that I work with. Um, that's the other challenge is to try and try and maintain a great culture while you're growing. And so we're going to see how that plays out. So getting ready to jump into a tech breakfast. Every Tuesday, I take a technician to breakfast to just try and keep that culture going. So I'm going to jump into this. Uh, I've got a couple of consulting calls this morning and uh, just another day. Thanks. just taking that little bit of time to listen to somebody's story, understand a little bit more about where where they came from, where they grew up, what their family situation is like. Taking that extra time to listen to that is going to make or break your culture at work. Quick little gym session before these consulting calls. Gotta get it in. Nine forty. Gotta be the office by ten, but you got to make time for yourself. It's the key. So one of the reasons I started a vlog and I started documenting what I do on a daily basis is really, it's really to eliminate the stigma and the word out there that you cannot build a big business and build your family and have time to stay in shape and focus on fitness and your health and have fun. I think that so many people miss the boat and they don't understand that you can accomplish all of those things. You just have to build the foundation for the business first. Give us some business advice. Get to work. Morning. I know when I I know the difference between no. Morning. How's it going? Morning, sir. Morning. Morning. Rent of success. You're allowed to be unorganized. This is really just to prove that organization is not a requirement of success. You're allowed to be unorganized. Nobody gets upset. You know, yeah. 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 Sticking around the evenings and hitting my gym time in the evenings until traffic died down. Okay. Then, yeah, that's definitely the gym. The. So, to me, one of the first steps of freedom is foundation, right? You've built the foundation, George. You have it. You've got office staff, you've got technicians, you've got well trained guys. You've got a staff that understands what your vision is. They understand what your goals are. They understand what your values are. You've built a good culture. It's time now to slowly take little mini steps back and let them make decisions. Whether they, here's the thing that you have to understand. They will make mistakes. They are going to make mistakes. 
Whether they learn from those mistakes or not is another story. And So it is 12.30. We have no internet at the office, but we're making it work because that's what we got to do. It's, yeah. It's not a problem, but let's go ahead and... You gonna yeah, send it? everything, the maintenance, the... Bro, Northwest 89th Avenue. Northwest. That's, that's gonna be, that's gonna be in Doral, Medley. Doral or Medley? Yeah. I think you said you had like six inches. <laughs> All right, so it's three o'clock. Just got out of the office. Getting ready to go watch my two daughters in gymnastics class. Again, focused on that work-life balance and trying to show everybody out there that you can build a big business and have work-life balance at the same time. Got a bunch of stuff done today. Got a tech meeting first thing in the morning. Got briefed on a couple things we're gonna discuss for that. Kind of just letting everybody do their job. Uh, one thing we talked about today that I really focused on with one of the consulting clients that I have is letting go and understanding that every day that your doors are open and your business is open, it's a good day. You're successful already. So not to focus so much on the little stuff because you'll drive yourself absolutely crazy. And by the time it's all over, you know, you're gonna blink your eyes and your kids are gonna be grown. You're gonna be in business for 10 years. You're not gonna be able to actually enjoy those moments um, of the process of building a business. So don't worry about the small stuff. Focus on the big picture. Take time to spend with your family and uh, enjoy the ride because it, it, it goes quick. Thanks, guys.